Yo, this is how you make spicy radish salad. Ooh! Moment of truth. All right, so today we're making some buche. Buche? Sente. So I don't know what we're really making, but we'll get to it. So, so first thing first, we're gonna be cutting up the radish. Nice. So a lot of people think, you know, oh, you're a chef, you should be cutting it with this. But when you actually make it like this, and then you're literally cutting it piece by like that, that just takes too much time, right? So that's the reason we're doing this. This is like the secret, you know? Here goes the chopped radish. And then that's the first step. And second step, so now we have the radish prepared. Now, what are we doing? Short. So she just put two teaspoon of sea salt. Then we're gonna put this away. Make sure you get the salt everywhere around evenly. All right, so now we got the radish out the way. What's next, Ma? And then one scallion. Let's go and chop that up. So, 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 so. Okay. Garlic, seven piece. Seven Oh, so we're just gonna chop up the garlic. Ooh, I like that. Korean style. Korean style, let's go. And then after you chop it up, you give it a nice little chop chop. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay. All right, so first thing first, we chopped up the radish. Then we threw the sea salt on top to let it brine for a couple minutes. Then we start preparing the vegetables. So we got some scallions, pot, and some chives, and some garlic. All right, so let's go. So this is back in the picture. And then what do you do? All right, so throw that scallion right in. And then your pot. And your puchu, aka your chives. And lastly, some garlic. Woo! All right, so we're gonna throw some pepper flakes, aka kochukaru. All right, so there goes some corn syrup in there. So if you don't have corn syrup, just use a tablespoon of sugar. One teaspoon, let's go. Ooh. And some sesame seed. All right, so now you're gonna mix that joint up. So usually when you make this, it's better to use the pepper powder, the thinner ones like this. You see right here? Like the cold and kochukaru is so much better. But she used the thicker pepper flakes today because you know, she just really likes using her pepper flakes that she brought from Korea. All right, so everything is in. So after we threw all the vegetable, we put some pepper flakes, some sesame oil and sesame seed. And now we're just mixing it up. So sesame oil and sesame seed gives that kosuhan ma. I don't know what kosuhan means in English. Kosuhan is <laughs> Go so high, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be so high, 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 you're going to so if this was the restaurant, what I would do is I would just plate it onto a small plate like that and then I'll get a little bit of sesame seed and just yeah. go. All right, so everything's ready to go. Now we're gonna move it to a container and we have panchan for a week. Very good, 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 good. And then boom, it's ready to go. All right, so let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. So you don't want to put too much salt into it because you want the saga saga, which is the crunchy. And this only took about like 15 minutes to make. It should take you a lot shorter, you know? This just took a little longer for us because we were, you know, writing things down. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, so first thing first, we chopped up the radish. No, 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 no. Hey, look. You don't get one, yeah. Guys, this is definitely not one. You know what I mean? This is like one and a half. Actually, that's like two. Yo, this is how you make. What are you get? Boo senche muchu. Boo senche muchu. Boo senche muchu. Boo senche muchu.